Welcome to Diabetes Stories, a podcast for anyone interested in the topic of diabetes. We will talk about studies, tech innovations, and our latest news. And of course, we will have lots of testimonials from people living with diabetes. Today, we're going to talk about life with a closed loop system and particularly with DBLG1, Diabetes Automated Insulin Delivery Solution. Let's welcome Professor Pierre-Yves Benamou, a diabetologist who equipped patients with DBLG1 system, and Stephanie, Eva, and Martin, three users in France and Germany. Hello, Professor Benamou. Thanks for being with us today. From your perspective as a diabetologist, what are the main benefits of DBLG1 system? Hello. I have been prescribing the DBLG1 closed loop system to my patients with type 1 diabetes for the past year. And my overall impression is that the algorithm is extremely efficient and flexible. Indeed, as we have shown among the first 2000 of patients equipped in Germany, the increase in time and range is quite impressive. If the average increase is currently 18%, it can reach up to 25 to 30% in some patients starting from very poor glucose control. The efficacy to prevent hypoglycemia is also remarkable, especially during physical activities, and this is being helped by the possibility to tune different settings in order to stick to the characteristics of the patient. In addition, the Zen mode is a very nice feature that further helps to reduce the possibility of hypos. Overall, I found the logics behind the algorithm rather easy to understand. Finally, the Yorloops monitoring platform is quite easy to set up and use and is a useful adjunct to the system, especially during the initiation of closed loop therapy. Thank you, Professor Benamou, for your insights on the clinical and quality of life benefits of DBLG1 system. Now let's hear the testimonials of three people using DBLG1. They'll talk about the first steps, what changed in their daily life, and the personalization that the Diabeloop Solutions offers. Hello, I'm Stephanie. I was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes at age 35. I live in Paris and I use DBLG1 for six months. What I like with DBLG1 is the Zen mode. It allows to raise the glucose target for a while, and I use it, for example, when I go to the cinema and I really, really don't want to go low. One of the functionality I discovered from DBLG1 is called high fat meals. When you declare a meal, you can cross the box called high fat meal, and means that your bolus, instead of being delivered in one time, is going to be delivered in two times. It's called biphasic uh, boluses. So it's been the first time since I've been diagnosed with diabetes that I've been able to eat pizza without having hypo or hyper after that. And uh, it's a big deal, what I'm saying, because everybody knows that pizza is like the most difficult thing to bolus for. It's a big step. You feel like, okay, well, you know, I can really eat what I want. And um, I also use it for meals that are not so fat, but I don't usually eat a lot of carbohydrates. So every time I do, and if it's with a little bit of fat, like, I don't know, 30 grams of chips, for example, or um, some cheese uh, with, uh, with bread or, you know, I, I tend to have a recommendation for big bolus, but at risk of hypoglycemia. So I check the box, I fight meals almost every time, almost every time, and it works really magically with me. You know, one thing is funny is that I'm not a control freak. But uh, when I used to have only uh, my uh, glucose level on, a, on my phone with an app, I really was checking it like every five minutes. And of course, it was already a huge step in uh, diabetes management, but it didn't particularly lift my uh, mental burden of having this diabetes management like all through the day. And uh, now I've really learned to trust the system that I wear, the BLG1, and I trust it so much that Not every morning, but several times in a week when I work from home, I forget the handset in the bathroom. That's how I realized that I feel um, like a little bit of the weight of the diabetes has been lifted because I really trust the system and I trust it so much that I even forget it. And I think that's a good sign. Hello, my name is Martin. I have diabetes type 1 for about 45 years. 
I would like to tell you about my experience with the Diaby Loop DBLG. I received the device about seven months ago. I was skeptical about letting my diabetes be controlled by technology, but my diabetologist advised me to try it. The setup of the device was very easy. First, I had to enter my age, weight, daily insulin amount, and my typical carb amounts at meals. This was done in a short time. Then I paired the device with my insulin pump via Bluetooth and started the Dexcom sensor with the DBLG. That was all. My time in range became more and more. My A1C dropped from 10% to 7% within three months. I sleep better and I don't work up several times at night to check my values. I'm more rested and fit in the morning. There have been no more embarrassing situations where I sit in a meeting, start sweating and need to close. I often felt embarrassed about that. Even when I'm out with friends in the evening, controlling my diabetes is no longer a priority. And if I have to intervene, I get a warning. Input is made directly via the DBLG. The DBLG has given me a lot of quality of life. I sleep better, I am fitter. I am very curious what the next updates will bring. I can live more carefree and I have my head free for nicer things than diabetes. I feel a bit healthier. My diabetologist can check my values and my insulin requirements online on the platform Yourloops. This means that if there are any problems, I can consult my doc quickly via a web meeting without having to go to the doctor's office for an appointment. It's not a cure, but it makes life with diabetes much easier. Hello, my name is Eva. I'm from Germany. And I have a podcast too with my German friend Tina. I used the DBLG1 from Diabloop since September 2021. The technical briefing lasts about three hours and was very well explained and structured. Entering the four parameters was not difficult for me, but I must admit that I never used the pre-selected meal sizes because it often doesn't fit at all um, or I eat irregularly. I find the DBHG1 very user-friendly. Of course, you have to get used to the extra device that you now carry around all the time, but that was okay for me. Entering meals and other things, as well as changing the settings, turned out to be very easy. My life has definitely changed with the DBHG1. Of course, I first had to learn to relinquish some control to the algorithm and that sometimes I have to be patient. But I have much less mental stress because of the DBAG1. I can go two hours without checking the blood sugar and know that the algorithm is taking care of almost everything for me. So now I have much more capacity to deal with other things. Also, when I go to parties or birthdays, I know that the DBAG1 always corrects me automatically. Of course, on such evenings, the blood sugar is sometimes very high but I don't have to make sure to correct me every 30 minutes um, because the DBAG1 will do that for me and the DBAG1 makes me run a little better overall. And when I'm traveling or being on trips, I can enjoy the activities in nature more than I used to without having to constantly calculate in my head how much insulin is still working and how I should set the temporary basal rate. In the cinema, I still look at it from time to time or enter the popcorn as a meal or something like that. But if I see high blood sugar, I know that the DBAG1 automatically corrects it down. I really noticed that I can have more time for other things and don't have to concentrate on my diabetes all the time, provided that I take everything responsibly and estimate the carbs of my meals correctly. The time and range has definitely improved, so I'm really happy with the DBAG1. Thank you. Thanks to our guests for sharing and to you for listening. Stay tuned for the next episode of Diabetes Stories.